like fouls were a problem tonight, and then just shooting around you. Just nothing really could catch up. Yeah, um, once again, it started off our first half. We kind of dug ourselves in a hole, and we tend to always do that to ourselves and kind of rely on the second half to kind of pull us out of the hole that we dug. And tonight, it just wasn't enough. And could you talk about their offense? Because their point guard was getting a lot of penetration, and when she does, it's defense is collapsing, and they were able to knock down their threes. You have to give credit. She's a great point guard. You know, she leads her team pretty well, and they, they play off her really well. Uh, it starts with our defense. We need to play better on the ball defense, and we need better help side and recover. It should be more of a team when it comes to defense, and that's something we just need to focus on. Raven, obviously nobody would ever complain about having 20 points and 12 rebounds, but how much of an impact is it when you're not on the floor for as long as maybe you'd want to be because of fouls? Uh, you know, um, I really want to be on the floor the last few minutes of the game, but they were they were attacking me. They were really trying to give me the uh, you know to make me foul them and shoot free throws and everything. And I and I understand why coach took me out. I was that was going to cost us for them shooting more free throws and getting easy baskets as they were hitting the free throws tonight. Yeah. Um, with me not being in foul trouble, could have possibly been a different game. But once again, we had to start our first half a lot better. How much has that changed for you defensively? Because you're in the pain, they're coming at you, and you can't necessarily be as aggressive as you want. Yeah, it does uh, take something out of me. I kind of, kind of lay back and let things go that I normally would and not be as physical as I normally would on offense and actually on defense and offense. So um, next game, I just have to be smarter and play more with my feet instead of my hands. You have a few possessions tonight. I mean, you'd, you'd be close, get within seven, eight. It seemed like you needed that basket to get going. We needed, we need something to get over the hump, but what's going to help us is we, we just need to stay more disciplined, especially really both ends, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk offensively because we were in such a rush in the first half and we were getting empty possessions because we weren't getting our transition baskets, but we were turning it over. I mean, if it's not there, we just need to show a little bit more patience, a little bit more poise and discipline, and I think we, we, we could have evened things a little bit better in the first half, and that was, that was a big thing for us is just – how rushed they got us. And you know, you got to give them some credit, but I thought they got us a little bit rushed. We weren't getting the touches that we needed, and we were turning the ball over too much early in the game or taking bad shots. And because you're behind, the three pointers seem critical, and, and they just won't fall until the last minute of the game. When, right. I mean, when you get down there, right down toward the wire, obviously, you know, you need to look for the three a little bit more, and we weren't knocking those down. I know Jazz, you know, Jazz did, but other than that, we really weren't hitting anything. Well, Coach, um, every time you guys went on a run, it seems like Tennessee Tech would hit a, a big three. How frustrating was that? Well, I, you know, they did. They hit a big three. You've got to give them credit. But, you know, I think a lot of credit goes to Harris because she was creating for them. You know, what, what was happening was is our perimeter players, we were allowing her to penetrate into the paint, and then that gave them the kick out. And you got to give them credit. They knocked down the shots. But we really need to try to do a little bit better job defensively and keeping, trying to keep penetrators out of the lane. Talk about Raven tonight because, I mean, she does her job outside the fouls and the paint, and so everyone else has opened up and just couldn't find those other shots. Well, that's the thing Raven gives you. You know, the kid, the kid works so dang, dang hard, and, and, you know, especially I thought in the second half I challenged her to, to seal a little bit better, and we got some really good touches into her. That opens everybody else up. We just have to knock down some of those shots. We, we have some opportunities. We need to, again, be poised enough to read it, see it, and then knock it down. Some of that is just simply – catching the ball, making a good hard pass fake because everyone sucks in to Raven. I mean, everyone's going to drop in there. So, And then being able to kick it and, and drop the shot. Well, back in the day, I was fortunate enough to be able to cover Kim Lau, and it looks like Raven is just going to zoom past her in all-time rebounding. You know, I, I can't say enough about how hard she plays and what she brings to the table. And we need to learn to play around her. Sometimes I do think we rely on her you know, a little bit, and, and that's fine because she's going to draw two. So that means someone's going to be a little bit more open. But, you know, she continues to go hard for the boards, and everybody knows it. She's not a surprise in the conference. Everyone's trying to play physical with her, and she can just she can play right that with them. It, it did hurt us when she got in foul trouble tonight because it takes away that interior post presence for it us. It just seems like it also takes away the aggressiveness a player might have naturally within him or herself. And when, you're, when you can't get in that flow, as good as her numbers were, she'd probably get even better numbers if she'd been Well, and you don't want, as a coach, you want to say, hey, if I put you in there, I don't care if you have two fouls, three fouls, four <laughs> fouls, you still got to play the game. But, you know, it was hard, and then they started taking at her a little bit there late in shot clocks and things like that because they knew she had four. Yeah. 
Talk about offensive rebounding tonight. I mean, 16 offensive rebounds, able to get some second chance points. But and thank goodness we did because we needed every second chance basket we could get. And and that's one of the things that that we know we need to crash the boards, you know, super hard. And I, I felt like we did a nice job of that tonight. Were you surprised to see the poor shooting though, uh, everywhere else? You know, I know we can shoot the ball better. Um, and part of it was. Sometimes it's how rushed we are and staying calm with it and, and learning how to set up our teammates. But we had some nice open looks. We've got to drop those. We've got players that can drop them. We just need to, we just need to concentrate a little bit more. And again, I think it's just that discipline of just dialing up your focus just a little bit. Okay, Coach, you have a quick turnaround here. Does that help your team you know, kind of put this game behind you because you have to look on your next opponent for Monday? Or do you think it hurts you a little bit? You know, I, I think it's we're, we're so used to it. That's what we do in conference play. So we'll be ready to, you know, we'll turn around tomorrow. We'll talk about a few things and show a little bit of film on what we just, what we did tonight. And then our focus, we'll, we'll shift it right in for the next game, next game at hand. And we just, we just have to make sure we're taking care of what we do. And, and I think we, we, we can show a little more control out there. Are you okay with your defense tonight, Paul? A couple of times it looked like there was, give up some layups. Not, not an overwhelming number of layups, but early in the half, first half mainly. In the first half, I was not okay with our defense. I didn't think, now we went to the zone. I liked mm -hmm. our zone. I thought our zone did well, but we were giving up so much penetration from them early, and, and we were missing a few assignments and some things we needed to do. And again, you know, we're, we're right there with teams, and if we would just, and I keep saying that, dial it up, but if we would just, dial it up and have a little bit more focus, I really think we can make, we can correct some of those errors that we're doing, whether it's defensively late in the shot clock or defensively giving up an open lane to the basket. And then again on the offensive end, just some patience and poise that will allow us to knock our shots down. It seems like that's the kind of team that does like to get to the rim anyway. And, uh, they do, and they create an awful lot by getting to the rim.